Joe. And I'm Cameron Word. Uh, so how's it going, Cameron? It's going great. I have lots of coffee in my system. Oh, very good. Yeah. You're completely caffeinated. Yes. Good. I'm caffeinated and I'm at fully charged. You're fully charged. How are you doing, Kristen? I am doing not badly. Oh, not bad. Yeah, not bad. But not good. Uh, sometimes, sometimes mm. it's better. To be not too good yeah. and not too bad. Yeah. I mean, I don't expect like all the highs. Mm -hmm. You're like, whoa, that's great. I just, if it's not too bad, then mm -hmm. we're doing good. Right. Well, they say what goes up must come down. Oh. So if you're having, if you're yeah. having too good of a time, that's right. Be prepared for something bad to happen. That's right. So yeah. I'm just like, I'd rather not go up that high. Yeah. Just stay on the ground. <laughs> stay on, stay the, on ground. the ground. That's right. Be grounded. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, our dialogue today is about snoring. And <sighs> we know that a lot of people have snoring issues. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the subtitle is an interesting title. I can nip it in the bud. Nip. N-I-P. Yes. And then B-U-D. Nip it in the bud. If you nip something in the bud, we're talking about maybe flowers? We are. Mm. This is a gardening term originally. Mm -hmm. So a bud is... Before the flower opens, mm. that little round ball thing that pops up on the plant, right? Mm. And to nip means to pinch something off, to pull something small off. Right. So if you nip something in the bud, you are pulling off a, a bud before it become, become a flower. I see. Before it can become a flower. So you're stopping the flowering. Got it. And this is often good. Uh, for example, I raise basil as soon as... The basil starts to have a flower. Mm -hmm. The plant dies. <gasps> so what do you do? So when you start to see the the flowers, the buds form, you pick them off. Oh, you, you nip, nip it in, the, in bu the bud. That's it. You get the problem while it's small so that it doesn't become a big problem that you cannot reverse. Oh, my goodness. This is really coming to light, this expression, mm -hmm. um, because we know that you're very deeply into um, raising plants and growing plants and yeah, things like that. Yeah. So you know what this means. Right. So flowers are pretty, but if you're eating plants for the leaf, it's actually not good to have a flower. Got it. You're mm -hmm. right. That, that's right. When you see the flower, it's like too late. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, come to terms with something is another expression. You're starting to accept something, something difficult or there is a problem and you're saying, like, okay, all right. Yeah. It's, I'll deal with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you bite your tongue? You want Why to say you? something, uh -huh. but you don't. Uh, okay. So you bite your tongue to stop your tongue from moving. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and listen to today's dialogue. Since you've been exercising and wearing the mouth guard, your snoring hasn't been as bad. I can feel the difference from losing a few kilos. I was actually starting to come to terms with the idea that I'd be married to a snorer for the rest of my life. I'm glad you said something when you did. It must have been hard to bite your tongue for so long. Oh, it was terrible. At least now I can nip it in the bud before it ends up affecting my lifespan. <laughs> Let's look at our dialogue. It's on page 98. Uh, Gia says, since you've been exercising and wearing the mouth guard, your snoring hasn't been as bad. Hey, so we're making some progress. Yeah. So exercise, mouth guard, it's, uh, it's working. Yeah. Okay, what does Howard say? I can feel the difference from losing a few kilos. Oh, he's lost weight. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Gia says, I was actually starting to come to terms with the idea that I'd be married to a snorer for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, so let's break this down. Gia is saying, well, I kind of gave up. But what she's saying is here, I started to come to terms with the idea that I would be married to a snorer forever. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So if you come to terms with something, what does this mean? You stop fighting it. Yeah. There's something, it's not an ideal situation. It's something you don't like, mm -hmm. but you've tried to change it and you can't. So you're just like, okay, I will live with this. Yeah. So when Gia says she's come to terms with her husband being a snorer, uh -huh. it's like, okay, my husband snores. 
I will just have to not think about it. Yeah. So there's a Korean word that I use all the time. You sometimes pada mm. dura dea. It's just accept it. Yeah. You just have to like okay. You can't change it, so I, I just will take it. Right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what this expression is. To mm-hmm. come to terms with something means okay. I give up and I accept. <laughs> right. You're not necessarily happy about it now. Yeah, that's but right. you're like, well, if it's something I can't change, mm. there's no reason in me like trying to change it. Yeah. No reason in me being sad or mad about yeah. it. So my husband is a snorer. Okay. I accept. Mm. Okay. For the rest of my life, which is our power pattern. Yeah. If you do something for the rest of your life. Until you die. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for mm-hmm. the remaining time that you are alive, mm-hmm. for the rest of your life, mm-hmm. she was going to have to sleep with a snorer. Right. Uh, there are certain diseases. Mm. It's not curable. You're going to have to live with it for the rest of your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? It's But just, you can manage it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like like things like diabetes. We can't cure diabetes. Yeah. But, you know, you can take insulin and you can, you know, take other medication. Change your diet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what does Howard say? I'm glad you said something when you did. It must have been hard to bite your tongue for so long. Okay. So Howard is saying, well, I'm glad you told me. Mm. Okay. And it must have been hard for you. Yeah. I'm sure it was hard for you um, because you had to bite your tongue. Yes. It's a very graphic image. Yeah. Like biting your tongue. Yes. Ouch. So this is when you mm. want to say something, mm. but you don't. But you don't. Right? Mm-hmm. You decide that even though you really want to say something, sure. you just let it go. Right. For example, I have a friend. She's married. And her husband has decided he wants long hair. Okay. And she does not like him with long hair. Oof. Okay, but this she, is a problem. But she has not said anything. She's biting her she's tongue. She's biting her oh, tongue. Oh, she's biting her tongue. She doesn't think. Uh, she doesn't think that he looks good. She, she she thinks that he looks better with short hair, but he really wants to try long hair. Okay. So she's like, okay, I just gotta just gotta bite my tongue. Bite your tongue. Let him try it. That's right. It's that feeling of you want to say something or you have a strong emotion towards something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but you don't comment on okay, it. Okay, very good. So you want to say it. Yeah. Yeah, you really want to say it, mm-hmm. but you're like, oh, uh, don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bite your tongue. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and Gia says it was terrible. And Howard says, at least now I can nip it in the bud before it ends up affecting my lifespan. Uh, lifespan. So Howard says, oh, now I can nip it in the bud. Yes. Okay. So what is he stopping before it gets worse? Snoring. Yes, the snoring. Mm-hmm. So honestly, with things like snoring, mm-hmm. um, especially in this case where it seems to be weight related, mm-hmm. uh, as you gain more weight, mm-hmm. the snoring would get worse and worse and worse. Right. However, while the problem seems to be a little bit smaller comparatively, Mm -hmm. they're taking action to resolve the problem. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can use this phrase, nip it in the bud. Fix it or get rid of it while it's small Mm -hmm. so that it doesn't become a bigger and bigger problem. And we'll give you more examples in just a bit. Uh, A lot of people are talking about lifespan Mm -hmm. these days. Yes. Uh, What is a lifespan? So this is one word, L-I-F-E-S-P-A-N. So you can think of life. Obviously, we know what that means. Span is kind of a word that means length or amount of. Mm -hmm. So think of the amount of time. How long you will live Mm -hmm. is your lifespan. Lifespan, that's right. And so these days, a lot of people are very interested in extending having a long lifespan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Without being sick. Yeah, I think that's the point, mm, right? Like, mm. if you have a long lifespan, and but you're, you're sick, sick half the time, then I don't want to live. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's tough. You want a healthy lifespan, right? Exactly. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Since you've been exercising and wearing the mouth guard, your snoring hasn't been as bad. I can feel the difference from losing a few kilos. I was actually starting to come to terms with the idea that I'd be married to a snorer for the rest of my life. I'm glad you said something when you did. It must have been hard to bite your tongue for so long. Oh, it was terrible. At least now I can nip it in the bud before it ends up affecting my lifespan. 
It's time for Power Note. We're on pages 100 and 101. Come to terms with something means basically you don't want to accept it, but you accept it. Yes. And you just deal with this problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't seem to like living in Southeast Asia. I enjoy the people and the food, but I can't come to terms with the heat and humidity. Mm. So you try to overcome the heat and humidity. Yes. But when you say, I can't come to terms with heat and humidity, I just, I can't handle it. Yeah, you can't. It just, it makes you so uncomfortable. Mm. It makes, it aggravates you mm. or annoys you so much. You can't just think of anything else. That's right. After six months, Terry finally came to terms with his divorce. Aha. So here, obviously, divorce is very often a very stressful thing. Sure. Sad. You can be angry. You mm -hmm. can be many different things, mm -hmm. depending on the situation. It seems like Terry didn't want to believe that he was divorced. No, it's it's going to be fine. Yeah, we'll get back together again. We'll get again. back together. Mm. We just need some time apart. Mm. But to come to terms with his divorce means, yeah, we're divorced. Okay, it's time for me to move on. Yeah. And maybe he is still sad mm -hmm. or angry or whatever negative mm -hmm. emotion mm -hmm. he had mm -hmm. towards his mm -hmm. divorce. But he's kind of saying, okay, it okay. happened. It happened. That's a, that was a part of my life. I just have to move on now. Yeah, very good. So not only divorce, but also um, maybe you have a breakup mm. or uh, after working at a company for 20 years, you were laid off. You know, those things are very hard to accept yeah. and to get over. Mm -hmm. So when you say that you've come to terms with it, it's a kind of like settling in your mind. Yeah. You're, you're not going to let it stress you out anymore. That's right. You're like, okay, this happened. And it's, it's like you're like a, like a monk and you're like, um, <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You are, you have come to terms with it. Yes. Okay. Now to bite your tongue means to stop yourself from saying something, but you really want to say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard your parents met your sister's boyfriend. How did it go? I had to bite my tongue when my father asked him what he does for a living. What does this mean? So, apparently, asking what he does for a living is uh, a sensitive subject. Mm. And so, if you bite your tongue, maybe you want to say, Dad, don't say anything. Yeah. But yeah. you didn't say that because right. the situation would have been awkward. That's right. So, uh... I think that some of the questions mm -hmm. can be very direct, yes. a little bit sensitive. Uh -huh. So we want to know, we're curious, but we do have to bite our tongue. However, uh -huh. there are people who just go ahead and don't care and ask those questions. Oh, I would. <laughs> I'd say, like, why, why be embarrassed about what you do? Yeah. Right? Right. Shouldn't be embarrassed. Shouldn't be embarrassed. Don't bite your Just tongue. Just ask it. Okay. You know? No matter what she is wearing, please bite your tongue and don't say anything mean. Mm. Yeah. Because sometimes commenting, mm -hmm. like someone doesn't look good in what they're yeah. wearing. Yeah. Why are you wearing that skirt? Yeah. Yeah. Bite your tongue. Bite don't your say don't anything. Say. Oh, did you, did you like gain a little weight? <laughs> you know, bite your tongue. Bite your tongue. Don't, Don't say, say it. Anything. Don't say it. We already know. Yeah. The people already know mm -hmm. that this is a problem. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So I think, though, but I do think that in Korea, uh, people are a little bit more careful about what they say, mm -hmm. especially the people who are older or people who are their seniors or superiors. Um, usually you're very good about things like that. Yeah, I think definitely in a business setting, mm. biting your tongue is a very important skill. Oh, yeah. Apparently here. Yeah. Uh, How like about a, in America? What do you think? Um, I mean, I think that some people do bite their tongue. I think that culturally it is expensive. Expected or allowed to to be a little bit more open, mm -hmm. or you know, it can people can still get mad by the things you say, mm -hmm. but I think it is much more common for people to speak their mind, yeah, right, and just That's say right. exactly what they're thinking. That is true, and not bite their tongue. Yeah, but then I think there is a clear cultural difference. What is acceptable to say in Korea may not be acceptable to say in the States and vice versa. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's not comment about, you know, your small face.
You know, you're you have a small face. <laughs> you know, like oh, already know what you're saying. It's not a bad thing, but it's it's not something that American people usually comment on the size of your face.、Uh. But in Korea, it's like a very big thing. Oh, 얼굴이 작아. My mother gets that comment all the time. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I'm so jealous, mom.、Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's if it's a. Meant as a compliment, sure. I think it's fine. Yeah, but、I、you don't want to say you have a big face. Yeah, maybe yeah, not. No, no, no.、Mm -hmm. Okay, bite your tongue. Bite your tongue. <laughs> okay, if you nip it in the bud, it means to stop something in the beginning before、yes. it gets worse.、Mm -hmm. Tony has been swearing in front of his baby sister lately. I'll have to talk with him and nip it in the bud before it becomes a habit. Right, kids. Yeah, kids.、Mm. You have to be careful because. Kids pick up everything when they learn something.、Mm -hmm. Just、mm. they, same thing with like dogs. Oh yeah, when they do something once,、mm -hmm. you gotta stop it there. That's Nip right. Nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud.、Or、they're gonna keep doing it over and over again. Absolutely.、Mm -hmm. uh, when our baby started sucking his thumb, ooh. We made an effort to nip it in the bud right away. Yeah, yeah. If you don't nip it in the bud, especially with babies sucking their tongue, they can suck their thumb until I just said suck on the tongue, but I meant to say thumb、uh, until they're like three or four, and it ruins the teeth. Yeah, yeah,、mm -hmm. the shape、yeah. of their teeth. I know. You know, there are some there are some bad habits that I wish I had just like. Wish in the bud it,、yeah. before. Yeah, we all do.、Cameron. We all have those things. Sure. And the longer you do a bad habit, the harder it is to stop. Absolutely. Our power pattern today is for the rest of my life, which is until I die. Yep. I'll regret that decision decision for the rest of my life. I will walk with a limp for the rest of my life. Oh no. Forever. Forever.、Mm. Yeah, it does feel very final, doesn't it?、Yep. For the rest of my life, I'll love you for the rest of my life. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that promise. It's so true. It's、uh, such a grand promise. Yeah. But life is so complicated.、Mm -hmm. It's hard to keep that promise. Okay, our power vocabulary is lifespan, and it means it's from birth to death. Yeah. Of a person, the length of your life. It can be animals as well.、Mm -hmm. The lifespan of a lion. Yes, do check out the definition on page one hundred two, and please stop by. With your hot dog. Okay, and for a small monthly fee, you can listen to our show again and again. Yes, yes. And you know what? If you still want to listen to us, you can join us tonight at six p.m. on evening special. We will see you there. Okay, have a great day. Bye. -bye.